Good morning. How are you guys doing in this fine, fine morning? It's about seven o'clock. I'm currently in my game room. I haven't been here in a while. I'm not gonna do a full 360 because it is kind of, kind of dirty. Today's gonna be an interesting video today. I'm just gonna take you guys out today. There's actually a particular vehicle I'm gonna check out, possibly get, but um, obviously we've seen the title of the video, probably know what I'm already talking about. But nevertheless, we're gonna check it out. You know, um, see if it's even worth to buy. Car dealerships are notorious for, you know, wrapping up the price. What is up with my collar? Okay. <laughs> Car dealerships are pretty notorious for um, screwing over, basically, in the plainest of terms. I went ahead and checked out uh, Kelly Blue Book to see the value of the vehicle. That's the number one step in terms of looking at a vehicle to see if you're interested in a vehicle. See where it's valued at from what they're asking for and what Kelly Book is asking for. It's actually a pretty good deal. So we're gonna check it out, see if it's a clean title, see if there's no accidents in his records. In terms of his maintenance, how is it, uh, you know, it's, it's been up to date if there's any recalls for the vehicle and what are those recalls? Those kind of things, you know, the simple questions before we actually get into test driving the vehicle and possibly purchasing that vehicle. So we're gonna head out right now. They actually open in, in an hour or so, so we're probably gonna grab something to eat. I'll see you on the other side. All right, got my Starbucks coffee. Got a little bagel, nothing too fancy. Yeah, we're on our way to the car dealership right now. It's not a, like a huge, big car dealership, like a, like a, you know, a Honda car dealership. It's actually just a, you know, one of those used car dealerships. And that's why you have to be a little bit more careful when it comes to like purchasing vehicles, especially for something, for someone that may not be so reliable. But then again, I think all car dealerships can, can waver that reliability. All right, anyway. I'll see you over there. Guys, it's the next day, next morning actually. Five o'clock in the morning, heading off to work. Super dark, so I have to turn on my light here. As you can see out there in the road, not much to look at. So basically there's two reasons why I didn't walk away with the yesterday. The first and foremost reason is the fact that I had to work uh, pretty much soon after I got done talking with the dealer, which is a good thing, um, but which I explain more later. Because the second reason is basically the most important reason of them all is uh, to do more research, to find out like if this car is really worth the buy. How does it compare to like uh, other vehicles within the same year, same mileage, getting quotes for my insurance. And to be honest, it's, it's kind of recommended to kind of wait a little bit, um, not only for the research, but also just to kind of um, not get too hyped over the vehicle. That was kind of like my issue during my first vehicle purchase. I was too hyped, I was excited. All I cared before was the monthly cost. I don't really care too much about maintenance, repairs that was done on the vehicle, any mods to the vehicle, stuff like that. Right now, I took a step back. Even though they gave me a um, uh, auto check, I wanted to do my own research to see like if the Carfax matches up to their auto check report and whatnot. It looks like for the most part, it does clear out. The mileage hasn't been messed with. I know the maintenance for the vehicle is up to snuff. Even though I hate saying that word, snuff snuff the most important is that it's a clean title no accidents in the, in the report so yeah it, it checks out for the most part now that i took a step back i can go ahead and like kind of see what's a good price range i'm still doing negotiations I, I, i'm still um looking into like extended warranties for this particular vehicle i think it is needed especially for the use that i'm going to be using it for in terms of the carfax it's also good to like um, get like a second opinion as well so i went ahead and showed it to francis my good friend he's more car savvy than me i checked out to him as well so it's looking like a very good deal so after a test drive and after uh getting the insurance policy that i want and extended warranties that i want you know the price point that i want essentially but yeah it looks like everything checks out so it's looking very very good 
But uh, I'm gonna stop you for now. Um, I'll see you on the side. I'm just gonna focus and um, we drop the work. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap, it's actually raining in Vegas. Check out the weather right now. In Vegas, we do need it. Well, obviously, we definitely do need it, and um, it's a good thing that we do have rain. As you know, we are going through a drought, but nevertheless, today is the day, finally, that we pick up the Porsche Cayenne. I got the paperwork right here in hand, and we're ready to yeah, we actually pick it up, you know? I would like to have picked it up in a much better weather, but, you know, um, like I said, Vegas needs rain. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely see you on the other side. But yeah guys, pretty shitty day, uh, honestly, because it's uh, raining, but I dropped off my vehicle in Luso and uh, for my Porsche right here in the background. We're gonna do some corrective uh, surgery in a way in the vehicle, do some paint corrections and whatnot. Some minor stuff that they're gonna do some paint corrections on, but uh, just talking with some of the uh, the guys over here. Yeah, it's gonna look sweet when they're done with it. There's gonna be a video of that, of the paint correction, so stay tuned for that video coming up. But obviously for that video for the paint correction will be done in a later video, so definitely stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm just gonna chill here in the rain. I'll wait for my ride uh, back home. But uh, love you guys, stay awesome. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Till next time, style us out. All right. Now before I actually conclude this episode, I do want to give you guys a great and wonderful happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, everything that you guys do. Be, be with your families and um, obviously there's so much that I have to like be thankful for this year. Um, and everything that um, I pretty much work hard towards and um, in this past year. It's been a crazy year, especially for my YouTube career, I guess, if you want to call this a career. But um, you know, I had a very long hiatus. I want to say it was about four months hiatus, only because um, I just wasn't really feeling YouTube at the time. And now I got the inspiration, um, you know, just the fact that I travel a lot and the fact that just I love cars and being with my friends who also love cars kind of inspired me to make a new, like a new envision, new rebranding for the, let me lift this up, for a new rebranding of this channel. And uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. And um, definitely, if you guys want more of it, let me know in the comments down below. But enough rambling. I really gotta go. So uh, let me know what you guys get for Christmas. And a ha happy new year. I'm gonna take a, a couple of weeks break to kind of uh, you know refresh my mind, hang out with my family, of course for the holidays, and uh, you know all that good stuff. But um, yeah, like I said, happy holidays. I'll see you in a brand new year. Got some great content coming up, but uh, yeah, great content coming up. But love you guys, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Till next time, style set. All right, laters.